Hello again. Welcome to yet another installment of Ultra Cheap SDR. I'm joined here by VK2DAP. How's it going? Not too bad. Can you tell us a little bit about the setup at the moment? Well, it's a vertical antenna out on the ladder, which you may or may not be able to see. And uh, it comes in here to uh, the transverter, which has a 60 megahertz oscillator in it, uh, which is then bringing it up, coming into this collection of uh, filters. And, uh, and then from there, it comes back into the TV, which is this uh, USB dongle here that uh, Balan here has been working on. And then that feeds that into the USB in the laptop and into uh, HDSDR. What are we actually looking at here? Let's unmute it. Holy moly, this is what sounds to be like some sort of radar. The frequency here is actually 14 megahertz because the oscillator in the mixer transverter is running at 60. Uh, we're adding 60 to set the appropriate tune frequency within the dongle. And let's look further to the right. You can hear some very faint ridi in there. And you can obviously change the width of the filter in there a little bit. Nice one. Again, there's the radar, there's something else happening here. So that would have been a ham speaking. We can also listen to some broadcast AM to switch. So this is just running the usual setup. We've got the XIO plug-in here that's connecting to the dongle. This is running the new LibRTL2832++ DLL with the uh, tuner equals E4K appended on the hint. This enables you to do some rapid tuning like I'm demonstrating here, just dragging it around and it hopefully will prevent the uh, I squared C errors from popping up. Uh, I also have turned the gain down a little bit, usually setting it at around the midpoint because if you f take it too high then you can actually see intermodulation artifacts coming through. So generally a good idea to keep it a little bit lower than, than maximum. And if you're interested, you want to describe that? This is a transverter and it has the switch that allows you to either go through uh, straight through or do the conversion and it's a Kuronishi Instruments model FC-965DXT and I have found that if you search for that model number online you can find a number of Japanese websites that are still apparently listed. I'm not sure whether they actually stock it but it's certainly worth a shot if you want to try it out. And after some conversion, it was about $200, I think, Australian dollars. Yes, at least we know there's, a, there's at least 472 of them out there. So. That's right. Uh, and th for euros, though, th was it 100 euros? 110, that, 110 euros. Approximately, something like that. So that's definitely a, a pre-made package that you can, you can look into. So 12 volts, isn't it? 12 yeah. volts, yeah, 8 to 12. What are the other options, Nick, if people want to... Transvert HF up to the range oh, well, that this dongle you can make accepts. Your, you can make your own one. I think MiniCircuit sells uh, some uh, double balance mixers you could use with a local oscillator. So if you're that way inclined, you could probably knock something together pretty quickly, pretty easily, which uh, would be uh, probably cheaper. So there's certainly some some things to try. But just to conclude, then quick recap: you can in fact receive HF quite well with a quite a basic setup with this. using the um, ultra cheap SDR Realtek based dongle the TV the TV <clears throat> and you can plug it in either on Windows with uh, HDSDR and the XDO plug-in or uh, with GNU radio using the Realtek 2832 source block so many happy 73's Bingo. see you later